it's race week. <laughs> been a little bit too long since I said those words I think slash it's felt like a really long time yeah we're going for a bit of a risk it's definitely a risk but I wanted to get some race experience in pre Kona just felt like it's been a really long time and I just I kind of I want to see where the swims are I kind of want to see where the bikes are and just being back at a race having that kind of race experience and the other part of it is I also need three race results to get a PTO ranking. So a few different factors playing into it. Kona is obviously still the big goal. So whatever happens this weekend at ZLMC, if I'm feeling anything around the calf, if I even start thinking, oh, I'm not sure, like I'm cutting it, that's it. Kona is the big goal. But I'm feeling quite confident with where the running's got to. So it's been sort of three and a half weeks-ish now, I think, of like actual building back the run. And we've been quite aggressive with it just because of the timescales to Kona kind of needed to take a little bit of a risk to be able to have that proper Kona build. I think especially when you look at the sort of caliber of all the female triathletes and they're running now. I was like, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think I can really get away with turning up sort of half cooked on the run. Not that I think you could before, but I think especially at the moment, we've got so many women that are running so well off the bike. I was like, if I give, if I want to give myself any kind of chance, like I need to have had a good sort of five week block of running. So yeah, so Will and I have taken a few risks with a lot of input from Ollie the physio to kind of, yeah, basically get back to a point of running. So I feel like I'm now back to pretty much normal running. A bit of supplementing on the lever, just to again, get a bit of volume in with taking a bit of the load away, just to ease in a bit more. I've managed to do a little bit of tempo, very conservative tempo, not proper tempo. <laughs> basically, race plan is, swim pretty hard there's like actually quite a lot of women racing that are the like kind of where i think i should now be swim wise so it'll be a good test of am i there a bit different because it's a wetsuit and it's relatively cold water i think it's about 17 degrees so like very different to kona but from a starting with a group trying to hang on to the group seeing how that plays out i just want that kind of practice Bike wise, it looks like a really amazing bike course. So you kind of head out on the valley and then you've got a lovely climb, slightly technical descent, and then a nice rolling bit at the bottom. So yeah, aim of the bike is basically just go as hard as possible. Um, so we'll see where the legs are at and just, yeah. I basically, I wanna, I took quite a lot of confidence from Ibiza in terms of the power that I was pushing, but not necessarily the speed in terms of trying to bridge that gap to Marjolaine. So I guess I want to use this weekend to look at, can I translate some of that into more speed slash the gap to people? So we'll see, yeah, see where that ends me up on the bike. And then run wise, I'm on like a very, it's going to be very conservative. I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to have people on the course being like, think about Kona. <laughs> Basically for me, the run is going to be Sunday, long steady run. I'm going to try really, really hard to keep myself in that mindset of you're now not really racing. We'll see where that kind of ends me up, but it just looks like a really stunning place to go. And yeah, it was basically my last chance to race before then heading out to Kona. So I was like, I might as well kind of go enjoy it, um, see what happens. And then, yeah, then it will be back for a week. So kind of recovery, see how the calves have pulled up from racing, get everything sorted, and then it's off to Kona.
Training's generally been pretty good, actually. I had a really good swim week last week. Kind of finally felt like the long threshold stuff was starting to come through. So again, like swimming has still been like quite up and down. I think this week it's been a bit down again, but that's partly because the running's come back up. And I've definitely, I always find that as soon as you start getting more, or like a different stimulus that's adding different fatigue, for me that always affects the swim like straight away. So the swim's not been as good this week, but still like solid, just not super speedy. But we'll take solid, solid's good. Bike, yeah, bikes actually been generally really good again this week not so great but I'm also on my like pre-period week of just generally feel a bit shit I'm putting it down to that and I'm hoping it'll be like perfect timing for the weekend <laughs> if I then get my few days of feeling amazing <laughs> but if not I'm just getting my excuses in now so <laughs> but yeah again like generally feeling pretty good on the bike putting in quite a lot of bike miles getting quite a lot of higher intensity in so hopefully that translates well into racing and then yeah, run wise, I actually don't feel as unfit as I thought I might. I've actually been doing quite a lot of work with a guy called Lawrence around thinking about how I run of actually trying to engage way more of like my posterior chain. So obviously post the second calf tear, I did it again, a lot more deep dive into why could that be, how has that managed to happen, etc. And I got put in touch through Laura Siddle actually with this guy Lawrence. Basically was like, I think one of the key things is you're not actually using that whole posterior chain, which is obviously a lot of the stronger muscles. So I've been doing quite a lot of work with him around how do I engage that? How do I make that stronger? I still got a long way to go because like, <laughs> usually his process of doing that is like a good six to eight week process and we've tried to do it in like two weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, a lot more to do on that. But so far, just in terms of how it feels generally, I've definitely noticed the difference in terms of how much more efficient I feel. And again, that's been at like steady speeds. I've not really been doing anything fast yet. So uh, as I said, a lot more work to be done on that. But so far it seems like that is helping and I can definitely feel the difference of not using my calves as much. So yeah, that's hopefully something from a longer term perspective that will keep me more injury free, hopefully, that's good. So yeah, like generally, generally the fitness feels good, which is nice, especially bleeding into this last sort of Kona block. There's still gonna be a lot of work to do out in Kona, especially now that it looks very likely that people like Taylor Nib are gonna be there. But yeah, actually, I, I'm quite excited about the opportunity if she is there to be like, actually, where does my bike compare to her? <laughs> Hopefully, if I can actually have a better day than last year, because last year was just terrible. But yeah, it's gonna be good. I just, I think actually for me, I'm really looking forward to having a real block of like complete focus on it. General, I really like having other things to think about and it not being all triathlon. But I do think that that actually means when I get the chance to have a really concentrated block, I get more out of it. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to do it all the time, but I think for a specific time period running up to like a big race, I think for me, it then makes a bigger difference to be like, right, you're just focused on this. You're either doing the training or you're recovering. And it's like, I feel like it gives me that extra little boost running into a big race. For me, ZLMC is like a really good test for the classified system. I've been doing quite a lot of so I did a really long ride the other week here of similar-ish, I guess, but not quite as mountainous, but probably about as close as you can get out here of sort of riding all the way down the valley and then coming up the backside of Fleet Moss, which is like a good sort of 10, 15 minute climb with some quite steep ramps. I was on my training bike, so different gearing, but just the difference of having that ability to switch so quickly just means that there's none of the like going down the gears before you go from small chambering to big chambering, etc. But yeah, it means that I've been able to keep a 54 one by on my race bike, which I'm gonna be changing for Kona. But for now it's got 54 on it, um, which hope, which yeah, with the classified means that I'll have enough gears to get up the big hill, but then all of the gears that I need to actually smash it down and on the flat bits. So I am looking forward to that. It will be, 
I guess the first proper race test of it because Ibiza was kind of very rolling. There weren't really any like proper climbs, so be good.